Hey guys, welcome to Summer Spree at Home. I'm Graham. I'm Jake. And today we're going to show you how to tie that at home with the kids. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to mix the soda ash. Here on the instructions it says um, one of these packets for two gallons. I have a one gallon bucket here. I'm going to pour about half of this into the water. And then you're going to want to mix it well. Okay, so next step we're going to fill up our dyes. You want to fill up these bottles so there's about half an inch of space on the top. then you're going to want to mix it well. And you got to be careful with this part because these dyes stain flow this very easily. Shake well. You can see the dye should start mixing. You kind of want to keep shaking it until all of this excess dye is gone. So we might shake it for 30 seconds. Okay, so up to this point now, you should have these three mixed. There's one empty one, so I just put that aside. Uh, you got blue, red, and yellow, and your soda ash mixed. And now we're gonna dunk our shirt. Um, usually, the longer you do it, the better. But I like to do it for maybe a couple minutes. You gotta swirl it around, make sure the whole shirt gets soaked. Now we're going to wring it out. You want to wring it out as much as you can. Soda ash is not as harmful on your clothes as the dye, but it can uh, dry your hands really, really well, so that's why I prefer gloves for this part. Okay, so now that our colors are mixed, and our soda ash is mixed, and our shirt is dumped and wrung out all the way, we're going to start the, uh, the fold. So the first fold I'm going to show you is called the spiral, where it starts at the center point, kind of twirls out like that. Um, this one is super easy and looks great. All you want to do is pinch and twist. You pull all the way up, take a little bit of extra. Wrap it around like this. You're going to want to grab your rubber bands. The bigger ones, the better. You want to slide it onto the shirt. Just like that. So we have one that's going horizontal. And we're going to place one that's vertical. Just like that. Okay, so this next design is a little bit more complicated, but it's one of my favorites. It's called a V, where it starts here at the shoulders, goes down, and meets together at the bottom. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fold your shirt in half, from left to right or right to left, does not matter. And you want to try to match the sides as evenly as you can, top to the bottom. Get all those wrinkles out. Now, what you want to do is flip the shirt so the collar is facing you, and angle it so the shoulders are facing you. So the, the, the shirt has a little bit of a tilt to it. And now, what you want to do is a fold I like to call the accordion fold. I use my thumb, my pointer, and my middle fingers. So I start by pinching. Making a big fold like this, 
and then I push up with my middle fingers, create another fold. Now you want to do this all the way down, following the angle of the shoulders. So at the very end, instead of being straight, it should kind of look a little bit tilted. Now depending on the size of the shirt, also depending on how many nerve bands you use. I'm just going to use a couple here to make sure that the shirt does not come unfolded. So at this point, we have our shirts all folded up, uh, rubber banded. If you have it, um, put your shirt on a newspaper. If you don't have a newspaper, then paper towel works just fine. So we're going to start with the spiral, kind of put die on that. So um, careful again, once you open this up, it, is, uh, it will stain your clothes very easily. So you want to be pretty careful. Um, with these rubber bands that I put on, there's four different quadrants. So there's the, uh, it's almost like pizza slices. And that's how you're gonna want to put the color on. So I'll choose blue in this corner. And when you put the color on, you wanna press the point of the dye bottle to the shirt like you were drawing with the pencil. I'm gonna put enough on to where don't see any white. You don't want to oversaturate it. But you want to at least get all the white spots that you can. And you can also mix colors, so here I'm going to mix some yellow. And some blue. And make some green. And be careful, especially here, not to oversaturate because you already have one layer of dye already on. So just don't be too heavy. Okay. Now what you'll want to do is once you have the front side filled out, you're going to grab your whole tie-dye, flip it, and put the same colors on the back. So for this one, putting on the colors is a little bit different. Um, you want to put on big blocks of colors that go the same way as the rubber band. So start here. You want to do big blocks. The big blocks are these ones. And then once you're done with this side, flip it over and do the same colors on the back. So all the colors are on, shirts are folded on the newspaper. At this point, I take some paper towel, 
just kind of get any excess dye, kind of pat down the tie dye just a little bit. No excess. Now we're going to wrap it up. Usually with the V shapes like this, it's a little longer. So I'll kind of wrap it up like this. And then I'm going to place it in a bag. If you notice at this point there's a lot of dye uh, falling out, then you might want to double bag. But usually, especially if your space is fine, one bag should be good. Now if it gets a little tumble in the bag, that's fine. Knot it up, double knot it. Okay, so now that we have our tie-dyes all bagged up, the next step is we're gonna let it sit for about 12 hours. After the 12 hours is up, open it up, throw in the washing machine, rinse it about two to three times on warm with no detergent. After that, throw it in the dryer. Uh, once it's dry, you can wear your tie-dye shirt. Hey again, hope you had fun. I hope this, uh, this video is a little bit helpful. Be sure to send pictures of your completed tie-dyes and any other artwork summerspreecac at gmail.com. We hope you guys have a great summer spree at home.